I was going to spend some time on the housing industry, and Kenny Domley is our analyst who's been following for years, uh, for years in this, giving us a lot of statistics. But I'm going to move over that because of a time constraint, but also because I think there's a general consensus now that we have hit the bottom in real estate, and that is the main thing that I want to give to you is to show you a chart. Sometimes a picture's worth a thousand words. You can see that the real estate market topped out at 230 per medium home. It's down to 155. It's back to 187. And here's the most important thing about housing that we need to understand. 21 to 22 percent indirect effect on the economy. It's not going to be a bar burner on the way back because you're never going to get a strong housing market until you get high unemployment and higher wages. So while it has bottomed out, it's just not going to recover like it has in other recessions. But the main news is it is no longer a drag on the American economy and we have seen statistics that it has actually been adding to the economy in the last few quarters. So this is the most positive news about the housing market. It's not going to be a barn burner, but it is going to quit dragging the economy down, and that is a very, very positive factor. So that and the natural gas are some of the things that are going to make a big difference over the next few years. Now, we have taken advantage of that. Uh, what we felt last year that the housing market bottomed out, we bought the housing stocks. We've even sold some of them that got ahead of itself, and we're still continuing to hold those that we still have a greater future.